February 16th, an inescapable law, Judges 1-7. And Adonai Bezek said, 70 kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off used to gather scraps under my table, as I have done, so God has repaid me. And then they brought him to Jerusalem, and there he died. Adonai Bezek was a powerful king. He had conquered 70 other kingdoms and cut off the thumbs and big toes of each of the defeated king. When he was finally conquered by the men of Judah, what did they do? They cut off his thumb and big toes. And he said, as I have done to others, so God has done to me. In the New Testament, we read in Galatians 6, 7, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, he also will reap. We often get upset because we think someone is getting by with the evil deeds, but sooner or later, the sins will catch up to them. The law of reaping what you sow is an inescapable law, but it's also a beautiful law. If you sow love and kindness and forgiveness, you will reap love, kindness, and forgiveness. If you sow mercy, you will reap mercy. Maybe your past is dark and dismal, and you've had sowed a lot of bad seed. Take heart. God has made a way that you don't have to reap what you have sown. He took the guilt of your iniquity and laid it upon his son. Jesus Christ reaped the consequences for you, that you might reap the glory of God's love and eternal kingdom. Help us, Lord, that we may sow good seeds in the hearts and lives of those around us, that we may reap, Lord, a beautiful fruit of that harvest. In Jesus' name.